try to negotiate as well. And, and I think that's what the people want. What about working with the Greens? I mean, they say they're going to vote for you last and they don't see that they can meet eye to eye, um, especially with your stance on the burqas and they say, you know, you stand for hate and racism. And what do you have to say back to that? Well, I've just been told there's a terrorist attack that's just happened in Melbourne. So what did the Greens say about that? All right. That's the real issues. So, that's what it's about. So I'm quite happy to work with to work with the Greens. The, the whole fact is they're not prepared to work with me, and they've actually, you know, when I was delivering my maiden speech, to walk out. That was orchestrated, right? This is it's not a game. I'm for a parliament. It's all about the people want representation, um, and that's what I'm trying to deliver. Whatever has happened in Burke Street Mall this morning, and I understand it is a terrible and distressing situation there, but and it may well turn out to be so, but. Isn't it premature to call it a terrorist act yet? We don't yet know what's happened. I have been advised that it has been. So most this happened it, most half an hour ago. So anyway, we're up to will date you be trying to get that briefing? Like, will you be asking the Prime Minister for that? Sorry? Will you be approaching the Prime Minister for a briefing? Is that how things have worked? No, they, but no, it doesn't. It doesn't look amazing. Um, you mentioned before trial by the public rather than trial by media for, for candidates and, and One Nation policy. Um, can I just ask, to enable a, a trial by public, doesn't the public have the right to know the background of I your candidates? I think I've answered your questions about the candidates. Senator, eight Senator. months ago you were walking the streets uh, with your former senator um, and that didn't end well, I think you'd agree. Um, why, would this, uh, wh wh why would the people of Bunbury trust you? Tr you have these people from other political parties that have ended up in prison. Right, so hold back. No one's got it 100% right. Senator Hanson, James interrupted you to tell you about the terrorist attack. If it is a terrorist attack, what is your message to the Australian public? I feel, I feel extremely sad for the Australian people that this is happening on our streets. It's not the first terrorist attack. This is about, we've had about 14 that have been um, foiled through um, you know, ASIO, the, the police working together. It is becoming a way of our life and I don't want that to happen. I don't want people to feel in fear on any part of Australian soil. So it's it's a shame. But unless we actually are strong on this, who we allow into the country, whether they be refugees, whether they be migrants, whoever comes to here, take a strong stance on this. And and if people don't look right, that they're not going to assimilate into our society, have a different ideology, different beliefs, don't abide by our laws, our culture, our way of life, don't let them in. Make this country safe for our future generations. All terrorist attacks in this country have been by Muslims. No, they haven't. Jack Van Tongen in Perth was a terrorist. He was not a Muslim. It has been under an ideology that is of the Muslim belief. Right? That, that was an not. An ideology. So that was a series of attacks against Christians. What? Which attack? Which one are we talking about? Back in the. 80s, 90s? Yeah, late 80s. Yeah. So right. that's that, three generations well, ago. Back. That, that's very, well, we, you're going back right there at that period of time. Uh, I'm talking about current day. As I said to you, there's been 14 foil attacks here. We've got over 500 people that have been watched by Asia. We've had people flying over to overseas countries. Are you, gonna, are, are you just trying to, you know, um, nitpick over this and you, you, you... No, I'm not nitpicking. I'm, I'm querying the fact that we don't yet know what has happened in the Burke Street Mall. It's a terribly distressing situation. It is and a whoever's distressing situation. Whoever's responsible, I have we don't had, know who they I are. I have had information that it was. Right? So if, uh, if I'm wrong with that, then I will say I'm wrong. But my information is that it has been. Right? And that it was let's a Muslim. Let's see if it... Let's... You let's, didn't say oh, that. Come on, can we look, talk about okay, some okay, issues? Okay, 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 thank policy. you very much. Senator Hanson. Policy question? Well, Senator Hanson. Senator Hanson. Well, depends what you're local. Standing in the sorry. sorry. Capital of WA, um, if, you're, if the sewage testing local, have you believe? What, what, would, what would you do to solve that problem? Or your candidates would do to solve this problem? With, um, and I understand that, ICE is a big problem.